art explorers. Sometimes when I'm drawing, I just love to doodle, not really know what I'm going to make once I get started. And the thing I like to doodle a lot are flowers and leaves and nature and stuff like that. We have some people in our neighborhood who have really green thumbs and they have the most beautiful gardens. And so sometimes I'll snap a quick picture of them. So I was inspired by those beautiful gardens to just do some drawings of flowers and gardens. One of the things we'll talk about today though is again, composition. Even though this is a bit of a doodle, I did challenge myself with a good composition. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. But I would love for you to stick around and draw with me. We're just drawing some flower doodles today. So grab a piece of paper and a pencil and maybe some markers and let's draw some flowers. This is a great thing too while you're drawing to think about who you might want to give your flowers to. Maybe you've got a neighbor you could drop off some flowers on their front step or send to your grandmother. Flowers are a great pick-me-up for anybody. You can see with this flower, I started, like I'll start a lot of flowers, with a little circle in the middle. This is sort of a daisy. I started with a circle in the middle and then added four ovals to the top, the bottom, the right, and the left. And then I filled in the spaces evenly between those first four ovals. These flowers I saw on my walk and I just love their colors. These are daffodils. And the way I started with this, it was also a circle. But daffodils have interestingly shaped petals. They sort of look like a diamond that is attached to the circle. You can see that I'm only putting five petals on. That's because daffodils just have five petals. Now this next flower, I'm afraid, I have no idea what it is, but I thought it was so pretty. I also loved how some of those flowers looked like they were just beginning to bloom or to bud. So I made two little ovals and then joined the ovals with a little U. To make the stems, I made a pretty curved line. This is the same kind of flower, but this time I started with an oval and then made sort of a V shape in the middle and attached the stems there. With this doodle, I'm making a little tulip. I made a U shape and then I put a very flat V on top and then an upside down V to finish it off. A second kind of tulip you could make is another U and then I put some zigzag lines on top. This next flower isn't very realistic. It's sort of like a poppy. I start with a circle in the middle and then I make sort of, you can tell, an organic shape around it with five petals. You can make leaves several ways. This is a tall skinny leaf, sort of like a daffodil leaf, or you could make sort of a teardrop shape leaf like that. Another sort of plant you could do for filler is just a line with some little circles on it. So here's how I put it all together. Like usual, I started with some pencil marks. One of the things though I wanted to challenge you and talk to you about was composition again. I like to put things in a composition in groups of three. So you'll see when I'm adding flowers that every time I add a flower or a leaf, I try to challenge myself to put three of those in there, three different spots. They don't have to be next to each other, but that way it gives my eye a place to kind of look around for different things. When you're making your doodles or your flowers, you can use a big piece of paper like I did, but you could also use a small piece of paper. Maybe you could make your flowers on the bottom and you could fold it in half and turn it into a card. Think about who you could send your flowers to who might really like to get something from you. After I went over everything in pencil, I went over all of these flower shapes in Sharpie. I really tried to fill up my page. Once I went over in Sharpie, I started going over everything in marker. 
What I did to make it easier for myself is I tried to find all the stems first and I used two different colors of green for stems and leaves. Then I went back over everything in color. And one crazy thing I did is dots to fill it up. So there's the finished product. I would love to see yours. And remember, if you make some pretty flower doodles, share them with me. I'd love to see them. Bye.